Hey, this is Tim Tibbetts of MajorGeeks.com, and this is a brief tutorial on using Pure and Defrag Free Edition. Why would you want to download an additional defrag tool beyond what comes with Windows? Because the Windows tool is very basic, and a lot of these programs spend the time really optimizing them above and beyond what the Windows defrag tool can do. There's also shareware versions, freeware versions, and they're all very good. As a matter of fact, just off the top of my head, IOBit Smart Defrag, Disk Keeper, Disk Keeper Lite, Ace Logix, O&O Defrag, Defragler, JK Defrag, but currently Pure and Defrag Free Edition is one of my favorites. Now simply, as with any other program we've shown you on here, just to break it down, you can simply just click on the drive you want to defrag. You can analyze it for details or simply just click, click on defrag. Now make sure you close everything you have running, your browsers, your email, or anything running in the tray before you do that so that everything can be optimized. Otherwise, the files are locked and it can't move them. Now, one of the other fun things about this is the boot time defrag. If you just let me uh, run through some of the additional operations, we'll come back to this and I'll show you why I like this so much. Under additional app operations everything's pretty well checked here and you probably want to leave it alone filling gaps is a neat little feature it basically is the data blocks in your drive get moved from spot to spot it leaves little gaps in here by filling these gaps you can avoid fragmentation down the road optimizing directories is exactly the same as optimizing the files it simply just makes sure that the directories are also optimized for faster access Freeing some space for Windows temporary files on the faster disk area is great. It basically takes all those temporary internet files that you maybe get from any of your internet tools when you're online that set cookies, that download images, your web browser, for example, would be the biggest thing. So if you use this a lot, this is going to be great because it's going to leave that spot right there where it can grab everything real quickly. Boosting your overall system speed is another neat feature similar to what we just discussed. It basically moves the most frequently accessed files to a faster area of the disk so whenever you go to access these files that you're using all the time it can find them fast without searching all over the drive hence actually in increasing performance now you can exclude files here by size but I would prefer to go to the exclude files add and find what you want to exclude if you want to do it why well, if you're going to use a large you large file that's going to move. If you've ever drag and drop large files, movies, stuff like that, you know how long it takes. It's going to take just as long for your defrag tool. I prefer to leave it be, and if I'm going to defrag my drive, I just do it thoroughly. That's because I do mine every, maybe every two weeks. I don't really see the point in doing this any more than that. Uh, you can enable file defrag for the simple right-click option, so you can right-click a file or a folder and defragment it at any time. The delete files in the edit list, I haven't messed with this much. I prefer to clean the drive with CCleaner, and I don't see any reason to mess around with deleting files in your defrag tool. Now you've got automatic defragmentation. This is kind of neat, but if you're going to use it, you've got to go through a few settings. I'm actually surprised. You can choose here from automatic defragmentation, automatic boot time defragmentation, Next, here's where I'm a little surprised. Your drives are selected, but the best features of the program are unchecked. Fill gaps, optimize directories, free space, and the uh, pure and intelligent optimizer we mentioned earlier. So make sure these four are checked. And then the other thing is, by default, it's defragging the drive at startup in every 30 minutes. I don't ever see the reason in needing to defrag your computer that much. I also worry that accessing and moving stuff around your hard drive just unnecessary use of the hard drive the one thing on your computer that tends to break more than something else because it has so many moving parts so instead I would either come down to defrag your selected drive uh, every Monday pick a day once a week probably I don't see any harm in that or come down here and pick a day so you could have it do it every 30 days uh, every 14 days and do whatever you want and then you simply click next save the name for what you want you hit finish and you're done and your automatic defragmentation is set up and you don't have to worry about this anymore uh, the, finally you have your about tab in your about tab it's not all that complicated view the website uh, check for an update hit the support page etc and now we're going to go back and I'm going to show you what I like to use I can't do this in the windows this is why I saved it for last your boot time defrag you can just click on that button you get this drop down restart defrag restart that's what I use if I'm sitting on my computer now I'll hit that it'll shut my computer down stop windows before it loads meaning nothing is running and it can really intelligently optimize your computer because it can move everything around and then it'll finally restart my computer again if you want to go to bed which is a neat way to do it you can do the exact same thing restart defrag 
and shut down. You could probably do that, shut your monitor off, whatever, go to bed. These ones here also do the exact same thing, but they add in a disk check, which could be handy if you're getting some disk errors, because sometimes checking your disk can be a little tough for a novice to do. But this is one of my favorites right here. So basically with Pure and Defrag, you can simply come in, start the program, select your drive, do the boot time, restart, defrag, restart, walk away, go get some lunch, check it out, see what you think about it, let us know, and we'll see you next time.